birthday today and I don't feel very well. Why? Because I had a little bit too much to drink last night. And that's all I have to <coughs> say. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today is my birthday. Today is Monday. Today is my birthday and I don't really have a plan on what I'm going to do except from go to the pharmacia. Pharmacia. Pharmacia to get some tablets because my head is very hurty and I'm regretting a few of my decisions from last night. But I'm going to try and make it a good day. Even though my head hurts a lot. But it is self-inflicted so... I guess I deserve it and maybe it's just because I'm 26 and this is what getting old feels like. Maybe this is it. I've never been the best at hangovers but this one's particularly bad actually. Yeah. But we're going to go get some food maybe and promise you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Hi guys. So I feel a little bit better now. I think I just needed to go outside but I just wanted to show you the hotel because it's so so pretty. James is going to film because I literally cannot hold anything straight because I've got the jitters. This is the hotel, it's super duper pretty and I don't know what else to say except from the fact that it's really pretty actually, yeah. That's time, that's time. Currently on a mission to try and get some food because I'm getting very grumpy. <gasps> wow, is this it? Yeah, this. This looks nice. Ooh. Okay, we'll see you in there. This is going to save my life Fizz. because my head is burning. Do you want one of those thingies? Oh yeah. They actually taste quite nice. It's like what is it? Energy it's vitamins. And we got the um, aspirina. So, uh, hopefully, my head will not be so hurty anymore. We were a little bit cold, so we decided to come and sit inside. I just wanted to show you guys what I ordered. This is a tartar um, trio dish. So there's a salmon tartar, a steak tartar, and a tuna tartar. Yes, yeah. And then what have you got? Meatballs. Meatballs. It's got marbles. It's day one of being trapped in this really nice restaurant <laughs> because we've already eaten so much bread that we can't finish our meals and no one is coming to take the food away because we've had they, three bites. We've had three bites and they probably think surely there's no way that they could possibly be done. So we've decided to just accept our fate, just accept your fate. And this is our hotel now. We, we're not we're not leaving. Do they have like doggy bags in? Yeah. It's I like mean, there's no point in asking you guys now because by the time that you see this, if you ever do, because we might be trapped here forever, but by the time you see this, the issue may or may not be solved. But do any of you guys know how to ask for a doggy bag in Italian. La cuenta, por favor. Or is that even a thing? I don't know. Anyway, we'll check back in with you. At, oh, I'm being kidnapped. I'm, you're being kidnapped. This is how much I ate. It was very nice. If we can bring it back, that'd be good. And this is how much you ate. Yeah, I've been trying to shove it like further down, you know, to squish it. <laughs> It's nice though. But this is the culprit right here. Yeah, this we had, like, right so, like, here. Two plates of it. Yeah, we had two and plates that's the of it. Well. Oh yeah, that's from last night. Like, I, I, and then for some bizarre reason, James decided, no, no, we'll get another bottle. We won't have a glass. We'll have a bottle. So we're being held hostage by our own dinner currently. And uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll check back in with you when uh, anything else changes. 
house. Guys, we escaped. I'm so happy. No, the thing is, is it, it, like, it, it, was it was a lovely, no, it was a lovely, lovely restaurant. It was so nice. And that's what made it all the more worse because if it was bad, then the chef it wouldn't have been, Yeah, it was the chef. Like yeah, he did. Yeah, so we were getting like the most evil death stares ever from the, the chef. He kept like pacing back and forth, <laughs> watching us. Mm. I just put my blood, sweat, and tears into that meal. And you ungrateful gits haven't eaten it. <laughs> No, um, and then we, uh, what I thought was, okay, I'm just gonna ask if they have a box and then maybe I could box it up. And they went box. to check, no box. So I felt even worse then, because I'd not only not eaten the food, but I'd also wasted it. So bad, bad, bad streamers, bad Oz. But we did escape. So um, happy about that. Is that the Colosseum? Oh my God, I think, I think <laughs> we've just found the, oh. It's not the Colosseum, what is it? Like a castle. I'll show you what I thought was the Colosseum. It's not a castle, is it? I have no idea Should what Should we go and have a look? Yeah. We're going to go and find out what the building is. And I'm going to feel very stupid when I figure it out. I don't know what it is either. Not the Colosseum though. Wow. <laughs> what? what is that? It's my... <laughs> Castle Santagello. Jello. Santagello. 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 Basically, right, it's a castle. No matter where I go, I will never fail to find. Super Barbie. Super Barbie? Hi, I'm Barbie. It's my birthday. It is your birthday. It is my birthday. I want a picture with Barbie. This is so cool. I don't know why she's got Superman though. <laughs> so we're gonna get some juice. Some juice. Oh my granite. Two glass. Yes, please. Okay, big look. Uh, yeah, yes, please, large. Eccolo, this. Ah. Eccolo. Ah. Oi. This melograno, number one. Look, very good. Red one, all. Eccolo. Ah. Eccolo. Drink my friend. Thank you. Try. Lot of potor juice, bagel juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Receipt, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Eccolo. Eccolo. Right. Taste test properly. What are you looking for? What's it look like that? Is that horrific? Word possible. Yeah, he's just saying like, you fucking can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, it's like, I'm robbing yeah, you. <laughs> Daylight. Yeah. Oh shit, I've just spilled it everywhere. Look at this. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. all down yeah. my wrist. Yeah. Can you help me? I'm my bum's out. Oh no. I'm slashing all of Italy. Oh dear. I don't think Italy mine. Yeah, the Italians are very into their willies and vaginas. Anyway, let's tell you about what we're up to now. So, there's a jacuzzi in the hotel and we want to use it, but surprise, surprise, James hasn't brought any swim shorts. Now, so walking we've out. decided to solve this problem by walking about five miles away well, to, to get him. Uh, fruit juice. I wouldn't have got my Echolo fruit ju juice now. <laughs> my Echolo fruit juice, my pants are up again. Those men definitely just saw my vagina. Thank you. 
we've decided to go on a great pilgrimage to find James. <laughs> to find James some swimming trunks. That's a really cute shirt. Wow, I like that. That's so cute. Meaningless repetition of words just spoken by another person occurring as a symptom of mental conditions. Is that actually what echo means? I think it's probably the wrong one. Oh. Oh. We'll ask Cappy what it means. Well, the shop is just there. All right, let's get you some swim shorts first. Can you just pull my um, dress down again? Sorry, I'm being a hussy. This has been the entirety of this trip today. James just pulling my dress down because it's rising up above my bum cheeks. Not that I think the good people of Italy care too much, but you know, they literally sell willies on shirts. Oh my God, that's a lot of bras. Yeah, this is a ladies shop. So we've, so we've for just walked half an hour. for a ladies shop. Eccolo! What are you gonna get? <laughs> so for my birthday meal, we decided to go for a fine dining experience in the hotel restaurant. We had nine courses paired with a different wine that complemented each dish. We've also added our thoughts and scored them all for you. We forgot to write down the names of the dishes, so I'm just gonna go with whatever was in them and James made some fun names for some of the dishes. So we started with an artichoke dish. I personally really like this. It wasn't my favorite, but I gave it an overall five out of 10. However, James's thoughts were a little bit different. He gave it a three out of 10 and called it a shit plant. <laughs> dish number two was the scallops. I gave it a six out of 10 and and so did James. And then for the wine, James gave it a seven and I gave it an eight because I really enjoyed this wine. For the third dish, we had salmon and James got pretty creative with the names at this point. We'd had a few wines to taste already. So he called this the Kinder Bueno Salmon because it kind of had the consistency of a Kinder Bueno on the top part, but the actual salmon itself was beautiful. Five out of 10 for the food from both of us. And then the wine, I gave it a six and James gave it a five. Next up was an absolutely insane dish this was the lemon pasta and broccoli. The wine that paired with this was so complimentary to the dish. It just tasted so light and not too overpowering. I gave this a seven for the food, an eight for the wine, and then James gave it a 7.5 for both. By dish number five, we'd had quite a bit to drink and James started getting creative again with the names for these dishes. So this is the Heavenly Greg's pasta. And the reasoning for him calling it this is because it kind of did taste like a Greg, but obviously a much fancier version. Now, I gave this a 7.5 for both and James gave it an 8. Oh, in the right south on. of Italy, Puglia, uh, red wine with full body, strong. Oh. Sussumaniello is the grape, a good grape uh, that takes a lot of sun. So as you just heard, we had an excellent waiter who clearly was very experienced in wine pairing and he did such a good job for this one. This was another salmon dish and we both gave this an overall eight. Mm -hmm. Now the final savory dish that we ordered was a cod dish. And when I tell you this was an absolute showstopper, this was so good that I actually forgot to start filming before I took a bite out of it. So that's why there's a chunk missing. The chef himself came out to watch us try this. You can see him in the background there and you could just tell he put so much pride into his work. This tasted absolutely insane. I couldn't even tell that I was eating fish. It was just beautiful. And the wine, oh my goodness, tens all round. Moving on to desserts, would you believe that celery could be a dessert because this is an apple and celery sorbet and I don't know how they did it, but they made this taste incredible. This for me was a 10 out of 10. James rated it a nine, quite literally chef's kiss. Then for the final dish, by this point we were so full, but we still managed to squeeze it in. I believe this was a chocolate mousse and then it had some chocolate ice cream. I'm sure it was something much fancier than that, but that's the best way I can describe it. This for both of us was an 8.5 out of 10. And then for the wine, it was either a sherry or a brandy that they paired it with. And hats off to them because the pairing of these wines and these foods is just immaculate. This was such a good experience and it's a birthday that I will never forget. Okay, so me and James just went to a lovely, lovely restaurant where we had a nine course meal, which I'm sure you guys will have already seen. And now he's taken me 
Well, he's taking me down like a butt treat alleyway. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> and he's, what is this? Is this it? Yeah. I have no idea what this is. Kind of doing a live reaction. No idea. Alright, guys. 